Several people have asked me to more clearly show how to bend your needle. So here goes. These are the ballet tapered needles, my favorites. These needles work very well for standard manual blend electrolysis. Get your needle in the holder and tighten it nice and securely. And then with your tweezer, place it on the shank of the needle itself and bend it to a nice 45 degree angle. This is how you'll be using the needle most of the time from this position. Here's your standard ballet K-shank needle. This one's a size 5. Put your K or F-shank in the needle holder and tighten it down. And you'll notice that the shanks are too tough to bend. So in this case, go ahead and bend the blade. This does shorten the working end of the needle, but for the most part, unless you're working on really big hairs, this will be fine. Here's your standard K5 ballet needle that's been bent, and you'll be using it in this position most of the time. These are your Ballet Tell K3 needles that were specifically designed for removing telangiectasia. The Ballet Tell needle also cannot be bent in the shank, but it's fine because you're only going to be using the tip of the needle. Here's the proper positioning for your Ballet Tell needle and you're going to be using it like this most of the time. These are needles that were made in Japan for the Hinko Company. They're tapered needles and they're very nice. These needles bent very easily and uh, they were gold plated. Again, this is the Hinkle gold plated tapered needle. They're no longer available. Also in the no longer available category, uh, these are needles that were made by a Dutch company called CTI. These were nice needles. They bent easily and they were gold plated. This is a small size for tiny hairs. This is your CTI gold plated needle. CTI also made needles that were pre-bent. These were good needles, but they're no longer available. Manufactured in the United States, the Laurier insulated probes are very popular, and they're a really good needle. Uh, they're especially good with any of the thermolysis modalities. The Laurier insulated needles also come pre-sterilized, and they come in a little blister pack like the one I'm showing. The Laurier needle is very easy to bend. Just a little bit of pushing with your finger will do the trick. Under normal usage, you will place the shank further back in the needle holder. I've left the shank exposed here to show you where the bend can be placed. Again, this is the Laurier insulated needle. If you're working on hairs that are growing flat to the skin at an oblique angle, Sometimes a bent needle can help you with your insertions.